Am I in the middle? All right. What up, y'all? It's Nader Charms from Nader Charms World. And today, we are trying the Denny's Beetlejuice collab. We got the uh, Afterlife Melt. That's what it's called. This one right here. This is a grilled cheese with mozzarella sticks on it. Looking delicious. But this is the Say It Three Times Slam. It's a breakfast slam. So it comes with this. Um... Eggs and then bacon and then the hash browns is from the burger. I actually have no idea what that is. I'm pretty sure this is like marshmallow fluff and then like chocolate stripes and then chocolate. It's uh, supposed to have green sprinkles too. It's supposed to have green sprinkles. They happen to be out of them today. We also couldn't get the the ice cream. They have an ice cream. Cookies and it's cream. Like cookies and cream ice cream. They were out of ice cream, which is fine. It's just a cookies and cream shake. Whatever. Anyways, this is the best looking one right here. This is the Beetle Juicy Burger. Great name, by the way. Just, you know, gotta give the points for that. But I'm gonna start with the Afterlife Melt. Cause that's the one I'm most excited about, honestly. I'm gonna get a better view of that. Yeah. Getting some ranch in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to change up my number system. Um, I'm going to give each individual score, and then I'm going to score them all together once I try them all. This right here, easily 10 out of 10 on... uh Presentation. Presentation. Just, I mean, the way it looks, the way they got like a perfect crisp on the bread, that's a pretty solid 10 out of 10. With the fries, too, the Denny's fries. Great. The taste, easily 9 out of 10. It's not, like, the best thing I've ever had, but that's a lot to live up to. So keep that in mind. When you see a 9 out of 10, it might look a little scary because it's, like, almost the best, but it's not. But it's good. I promise you. Try it. We're going to go ahead and move on to the Beetle Juicy Burger. Great name, by the way. Oh, right, the Afterlife Melt. Not liking the name very much. Just had to mention it. The rest of them have pretty solid names. That one, not so much, but it's fine. I don't even know how I'm going to bite into this. <laughs> um, I will explain, first of all, <clears throat> it has like a special sauce. I don't know if this is like a Denny sauce, but Same. I haven't seen it on anything else. Um, so it might just be for this, but just had to mention that, obviously. Show that juice. Bruh. They were not lying when they said Beetle Juicy. <laughs> that is busted. Easy 9 out of 10 on presentation. Just because I just, I mean, it looks really appetizing. It just doesn't look as good as that. You should also tell them we took all of the veggies off. <laughs> yeah, we took all the veggies off. Uh, I don't like veggies, really. It'd be really tall if it had all the stuff on it because this is already really tall. So. Anyways, easy 9 out of 10 presentation. Easy 9 out of 10 on taste. Honestly, it's really solid. I like the sauce. The sauce is pretty good. Always like me a triple you burger. You should tell them what bacon. it tastes What do you mean? Sauce. Oh, the sauce is like a barbecue base. So it tastes like barbecue, but you can go ahead. I was just seeing a few. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to that. Say it three times slam. Now, this is called a slam because it's a breakfast slam. That means it has, like, other stuff with it, like eggs and bacon. But, I mean, I've tried eggs and bacon. It's not really that special. Um, it's good. The eggs and bacon are good. But I'm yeah, here that's for what I mean. I'm here for this. So, I'm just going to try this. No sprinkles. Just saying. I'm going to get another bite. <laughs> Honestly, that is a really solid pancake. Um, I have to give the presentation an 8.5 just because they didn't have the sprinkles. But if they had the sprinkles, honestly, it would be a solid 10 out of 10 on presentation. This just looks appetizing. You know what I mean? The sprinkles kind of make it the beetle juice. Thing. Right. The, everything else, it kind of gives like the striped like the striped suit and stuff like that, but like the green, 
Beetlejuice is green, black, and white. You know what I mean? So without the sprinkles, it's not the best it looks, but it's, it still looks really appetizing, you know? And on top of that, the taste, still a solid nine out of 10. All of these are really good. Um, overall, everything, everything here, I think this is a solid nine out of 10. Honestly, nine and a half out of 10 meal in total, like on taste. Um, I rank them individually on presentation. I don't think I need to rate them again on presentation. So instead of that, I'm going to rate them on how, based on how pricey they are. Um, this meal altogether, I think, so the total before tip is $40 and 43 cents for these three things. 20 bucks. That's, you know, two people are eating this 20 bucks. Per this meal. is food for three people. Though. Yeah. This is, this is three meals for uh, like $14 ish around there anyways. So this is like 15 bucks a person, basically. That's a pretty solid price. I mean, that's not for it being not that good I mean, for it being pretty, pretty good, you know? So honestly, overall, the price isn't even that bad. I was looking at the price earlier and I was like 40 bucks is a little much, but then I just had to think about it for a second and realize that this is for three different people. It's pretty, pretty good, pretty good pricing. So, Solid nine and a half out of ten on pricing. You know, again, yeah, everything could be cheaper. You know what I mean? Really, they could sell this for ten bucks each. But overall, this whole meal altogether, if I had to give it one rating without saying anything in specific, this is a solid nine at nine out of ten meal. Um, meals. But yeah, so that's that. That was the uh, Beetlejuice collab at Denny's. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Dude. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, I'll go ahead and see you on the next video. Oh, so <laughs> they were out of ice cream. I said that. But they uh were getting a delivery whenever we were here. So they happen to have ice cream now. So this is the Still no green sprinkles. But still no green sprinkles. That's fine. It's whatever. It's just for the presentation. Cookies and cream shake. I think this is a chocolate cookies and cream shake, to be specific, but it's called a cookies and cream shake. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. I'm excited for this one. I mean, it's not too special, you know. It's not like whoa, but it's a really good cookies and cream shake. So presentation. I have to knock on some points again for no sprinkles, but that's not their fault. So 8.5 out of 10 still, because it still looks really good. And then on top of that, the taste, easily a solid 9 out of 10. I had to think about it for a second. I still can't give this a 10 out of 10. It's not like the best stuff, you know what I mean? It's really good. Altogether, I'm going to have to change the score. Altogether, no, I'm not. Still a 9 out of 10, altogether. Um, <clears throat> and then... The pricing, four ninety nine. The pricing for this four ninety nine. It's pretty good pricing, but they decided that they were going to give it to me for free. Altogether, the pricing still the same, still the same score, just because it didn't add any. So, anyways, I'll do the outro in a second. Hey y'all, sorry for the delay. I know I told y'all I was going to post it on Monday of last week, and then I delayed it till Friday. And then I didn't even post anything Friday. So I just, I've been so busy with work and stuff like that. So, but here it is, you know, uh, just make sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. If you don't, then I don't know what you're doing here. You know, maybe even leave a dislike if you don't like it. Just some kind of engagement. Let the YouTube algorithm and me know what I need to do better. So. Anyways, bye. Oh.